Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this DxO Photo Lab 9 review. So DxO Photo Lab is a standalone enthusiast grade photo editing studios for Windows, PC and Mac OS, combining basic photo management and photo editing. However, Photo Labs is best known for its outstanding optics module powered raw conversion and class leading deep prime noise reduction. When combined, these these features all but guarantee exceptional image quality the moment you open your photo for editing. If you would like to try these features, you can, and there is a link in the description below to your free photo lab trial. A single photo lab lifetime license will cost you a one-time payment of $239. However, you can upgrade to photo lab 9 from photo lab 7 or 8 for just $120. So what does DxO Photo Lab do? Well, DxO Photo Lab 9 combines basic photo management with advanced photo editing. Regarding photo management, you can use Photo Lab to rate your photos and group your images into albums. You can also tag your pictures with any number of custom keywords. Photo Lab leverages your photo library's existing file structure, thus no import takes place and you'll find your images is exactly where you left them. You can also browse your library using Photolab's effective search feature, exploiting attributes such as ratings and keywords, as well as photo metadata properties such as the date taken, camera model and exposure settings. While DxO Photolab's photo management is comparably basic, its photo editing is anything but. Whenever you open a new photo, Photolab will download an optics module that profiles the specific characteristics of the camera and lens combination you use to take the shot. This insight enables DxO Photo Lab to make highly bespoke corrections and enhancements to your image resulting in superior image quality before you've made your first edit. When it comes to photo editing, Photolab's responsive and highly customized interface is packed with the kind of manual adjustments that enthusiasts crave. Yet, newcomers and experts in a rush can always fall back on Photolab's selection of presets and labor-saving features, such as the excellent DxO Smart Lighting and Clearview Plus. Then there is DxO's Deep Prime Noise Reduction, one of the best photo denoisers I've tested. Once you've finished your edit, you can export your image as a TIFF, JPEG or DNG, or even send your images directly to Lightroom or Flickr. So what is new in DxO Photo Lab 9? Well, Photo Lab 9's most significant new feature is AI masking, enabling you to quickly mask, isolate and adjust photographic elements such as your photos, sky, subject or background, while leaving the rest of your image intact. Photolab 9 also inherits DxO Puro 5's Deep Prime Free and XD Free X-Trans AI denoising models, ideal for processing photos taken with Fujifilm's range of X cameras. In the photo library, you can also stack multiple images together and present them as one, which helps contain large bursts of a single moment or an HDR or focus stack. There is also a new batch renaming tool, enabling you to rename groups of images using metadata properties such as shot data camera model, focal length, and many more. After which you can save your new naming convention as a preset and use it again later. Finally, DxO Photo Lab is now compatible with modern file formats such as HEIC, HEIF, and ProRAW, making it easier to process images captured with your Apple hardware. Overall, DxO Photo Lab 9 is a significant upgrade over Photo Lab 8, but only for specific users, such as those seeking AR masking or compatibility with Apple and Fujifilm devices. However, Photo Lab 9 is an excellent upgrade for almost anyone still using Photo Lab. 7 or older. And remember, you can try Photolab 9 for free, and there is a link to your free trial in the description below. So, is DxO Photolab any good? Well, regarding photo management, DxO Photolab is functional but underpowered compared to its rivals. Specifically, Photolab lacks modern day conveniences such as face recognition 
automatic keyword tagging, smartphone connectivity, and cloud integration. However, Photolab's photo editing is another matter. Photolab's interface is one of the best I've used. It's well presented, hyper responsive, and highly customizable, enabling you to tune its layout to fit your preferred workflow. Photo editing in Photolab is packed with fast and precise adjustments that give you fine control over exposure, color, contrast, and lighting, along with additional tools for correcting optical distortion and lens softness, adding watermarks, and many more. For all of these reasons, DxO Photolab is a fine choice if you prefer to craft your own results. That being said, DxO Photolab offers plenty of automation for newcomers and experts in a rush. You can set Photolab's optic module powered RAW conversion to instantly correct or enhance color, contrast, distortion, vignetting, chromatic aberration, and lens softness, resulting in a vastly better looking image before you've even begun. After which, you can complete your edit with a preset or rely on DxO's two compound effects, clear view and smart lighting. You can even try Photolab 9's well-executed AI masking to edit specific areas of your image without suffering the tedium of manual brushing. In other words, you don't need to be a Photolab expert to get a great looking result. Regarding great looking results, Photolab also includes deep prime noise reduction, which remains the best noise reduction tool I've tested to date. Moreover, the addition of Deep Prime XD3 X-Trans means it now works with Fujifilm's X cameras. Overall, the XO Photolab combines outstanding photo editing, top tier noise reduction, and class leading raw conversion with some basic photo management features thrown in. So what are the best alternatives to DxO Photolab? Well, the most obvious alternative to Photolab is Lightroom, a vastly superior photo management tool that is almost as effective for photo editing. However, Lightroom's AI denoise falls short of Photolab's Deep Prime, as does its raw conversion. While Lightroom's interface is more straightforward to learn, Photolab's is more responsive and customizable. Yet choosing between DxO Photolab and Lightroom might come down to how you feel about subscriptions. While you can buy DxO Photolab outright for $239, Lightroom will cost you at least $120 each year. However, Lightroom does include one terabyte of storage and continuous updates, making it a better deal for those of you with extensive photo collections and a need for the latest features and and compatibility with the latest cameras and lenses. In contrast, DxO Photolab is a better deal if you have all the storage you need and have no need to upgrade on an annual basis. Another excellent Photolab alternative is ACDC Professional. Like Lightroom, ACDC Professional's photo management is significantly superior to DxO Photolab's and its photo editing capabilities are similarly robust. While ACDC lacks Photolab's outstanding rod conversion and noise reduction, it costs just $99 for a lifetime license. Therefore, if you are looking for a subscription-free photo management and editing all-rounder, ACDC Professional is an outstanding choice. Finally, there is On One's Photo Raw. So On One Photo Raw offers more features than DxO Photolab, such as superior photo management, layer-based photo editing, sky replacement, and a portrait enhancement tool. Moreover, On One Photo Raw's No Noise AI is comparable to Photolab's excellent Deep Prime in terms of denoising images. However, On One Photo Raw cannot match Photolab's optic module powered raw conversions or its slick customizable interface. But at just $99 for a lifetime license, On One Photo Raw is one of photography's biggest bargains. And if you would like to try any of these alternatives, there are links to free trials in the description below. So to conclude, is DxO Photolab 9 worth it? Well, Photolab 9 is a highly responsive, well-presented photo editing tool that combines labor-saving smart tools with high-precision manual adjustments. Thanks to its bespoke optics modules, 
DxO Photo Lab can overcome the deficiencies of your specific camera and lens pairing and apply highly optimized corrections and enhancements. The result is optimal image quality by default and you may be satisfied with your edit before applying a single adjustment. And speaking of image quality, deep prime remains as good as photo noise reduction gets. Regarding photo management, DxO Photolab is functional but undernourished. For instance, many applications now feature advanced photo management tools such as AI-powered keyword tagging, cloud integration, face recognition and smartphone connectivity. If you need these features, you could always supplement DxO Photolab with a photo management application such as ACDC Home, on one photo keyword AI or Milio Photos. But in reality, you might prefer an all-in-one alternative such as Lightroom on one photo raw or ACDC Professional. Yet despite its formidable competition, DxO Photolab succeeds in standing out for its deep prime noise reduction and its optics module powered image enhancements and corrections. Moreover, thanks to its concise, highly responsive and customizable interface, DxO so Photolab is excellent to use. Thus, if you prioritize image quality and user experience above all else, DxO Photolab is well worth trying. Now, as always, I would like to remind you that I am indeed an affiliate for DxO. However, I am also an affiliate for all the other applications mentioned today, and I really don't mind which of these that you buy. However, you don't have to take my word for any of this, and in the description below, you will find a link to your free DxO Photolab 9 trial. If you'd like to know more about Photolab or any other software applications, do consider dropping by Silent Peak. Here here you will also find the Silent Peak store, listing the latest prices on many different software applications and of course including free trials and in some instances promo codes. If you liked this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, even buy me a coffee with a super thanks. But anyway, I hope this review was informative or at least interesting. My name is Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.